Well, my case came in today. This is the box. And it's exactly how it was shipped. No, uh, no outer box or anything like that. Let's open it up and take a look and see what condition it's in. Smells nice. Okay, looks like it's in good condition. Drive bake comes out. Okay, now let's see what I got here. All the goodies in this box. Okay. That's my Sabre 2 X58 motherboard. OCZ 90 gigs, solid state drive. Core i7, 3 gigahertz, actually 3.06 gigahertz, I think. i7 950. And it's the, uh, of course, x58 version, the 1366. Power supply. Okay. It's my video card, and I'm hoping this thing is pretty good. But it's the uh, GTS 450 by Palette. And it's one gig of RAM. Check that out later. Okay, TV tuner over the air. Yep, that's in there. It's a pretty light box, but it doesn't need to be heavy. It's just a simple PCI Express TV tuner. And this should be my memory. Four gigs of PC. PC, uh, what was it? Um, PC2, PC3, uh, 12800 megahertz. 1600. And that's the goodies for right now. I still got some more stuff on the way. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is. Um, I've taken apart my current system, MSI Diamond P6N, and put that aside. My video card that's in the P6N, taking that out, and here's the empty case. What I'm going to do is, rather than making this media center a very powerful media center and still being stuck with my uh, current gaming config, 
I'm actually going to swap out stuff. I'm going to keep the 90 gig hard drive, uh, solid state drive in my gaming system and I'm going to switch out video cards and put the uh, GeForce 8800 GT in the media center and take this one, the Pilot 450, and make that my new game uh, graphics card. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and build this one up. This is my gaming system. Build that up with uh, with the new stuff that just came in. And then whatever is left over, whatever I'm switching out from this one, is going to go in the uh, media center. And that's the hard drives are in. CD-ROM drives in. It was a little bit difficult to get that to line up as well. And I see what the problem is with, with the CD-ROM drive is that the button uh, doesn't quite line up with the front panel here when it's supposed to flip down because of this little thing back there that presses up against the button when you press on the front. The open and close button doesn't function properly so it has to be lined up just right. I found that what actually works for that because if you push this cage in and push it all the way up against it, the button actually stops. And I'll, I'll demonstrate how that works. Okay, so with the drive cage going in, drop it in and push forward. See, it's button doesn't press right there. So what I find out is if I just push on it really hard, now it's flexible. You hear that clicking now. That's what you want to hear. And at that point, I'll go ahead and put in only this screw on this side. If I can either adjust that just right. Okay, so the left side screw is in. I'm not going to put the screw in on here on this side because as you can see it doesn't quite line up properly and that's where the problem a lot of folks are having and my button still works like that so if I were to push it all the way up to where the button to where the hole lines up then the button wouldn't align with the with the case properly now that pressing see it's pushing it back Sorry about the lighting, but it's pushed it back a little bit. So no matter what I do, it's perfectly lined up right there. But now it won't press. So by the time I press that button, it pushes it. And that's what I want. So I'm going to leave it like that because, you know what? I'm not going in the case ever again, probably, until time for another rebuild. So what does this affect anything? And I'm going to show you right now by turning it on that it does power on and open the drive bay.